الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I welcome you to our course, Understand Quran, Understand Quran and Salah the easy way, to the first lesson of it. First of all, I would say Jazakumullah khair to everyone who has made efforts to arrange this course and get it delivered, and to the one who informed you about it. And congratulations to you because it is course of the Quran. The first thing that we have to do before we do anything is to plan. Because if we fail to plan, we plan to fail. Therefore, first understand the task, make the plan, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the task easy and start it. And if you start walking towards Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to us running. In the Mus'haf from al Madina, or the one used by those who memorize Quran, the Hafizhi Mus'haf, there are 600 pages, okay? There are 30 juz or paras, so each para has 20 pages, so 30 times 20 is 600. And on each page, there are 15 lines. On each page, there are 15 lines. And in each line, there are around nine words, approximately nine words per line. Therefore, on each page, there are 15 times 9, 135 words, and we rounded it to 130 words per page. Okay, 130 words per page. And because there are 600 pages and 130 words per page, so the total number of words in the Quran are 78,000. 130 times 600, 78,000. And these are all approximations, you know, 78,000 is an approximation. So, we have to understand 78,000 words. That's our task. But mashallah, non-repeated words are only 17,000, okay? Because there are many words, as you know, are repeated in the Quran. So, if we remove the non-repeated word, I mean, if we remove the repetition and count only the non-repeated words, then they come down to 17,000. So on the average, each word in the Quran is repeated four times on the average. But if you learn al-mustasrif, okay, that is if you know alima, if you know how to make ya'lamun, ta'lamun, alim, ma'lum, il, if you can make these derivatives or these uh, forms, different forms or conjugation of the verb, then these 17,000 re get reduced to only 4,500. 4,500. By the way, there are only 1,850 roots in the Quran. Root words. Root words are only eight, one hundred, less than 2,000. 1,850. But for non-Arabs, remember, knowing the roots is not enough. Because, for example, alima and allama and ta'allama, all of them come from the same root but all of them mean different, in fact, opposite meanings. For example, alima means he knew. Allama means he taught. Ta'allama means he learned. You see, they are opposite, teaching, learning. So, knowing roots is not enough. You have to know the form also. So, for a non-Arab like us, like me, we have to learn 4,500 words of the Quran. That's our task. And we have to learn how to make different forms. You see, Quran is easy to learn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has repeatedly said in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ we, Verily, we have made Al-Quran easy to understand and remember. So never ever say Quran is difficult. Okay, never say that. Are you going to deny or contradict what Allah says? Never ever say Say Quran is easy and I have to make effort. Okay? It is easy. It is not automatic. Okay? It is easy. It is easy to learn and there are amazing ways Allah subhanahu in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the Quran easy. For example, for example, if you just know the words of Suratul Fatiha, each and every word of Suratul Fatiha, 
then these words occur in the Quran 7,500 times. MashaAllah. You know the total words? 78,000. And words of Surah Al-Fatiha? 7,500. Therefore, every 10th word of the Quran, 10% or every 10th word of the Quran on the average is from Surah Al-Fatiha. How easy it is. And not only that, if you just learn your basic salah, namaz, okay, Surah Al-Fatiha, last six surahs, like uh, um, Asr and Nasr and uh, Al-Kafirun and Ikhlas and Falaq and Nas, and the adhkar of salah, like adhan, hmm, or tasbihat of rukur and sujood and tashahud and the prayer for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the prayer before salam and after salam. If you just know these along with little basic ilm of how to make these different forms of the verb, then you learn 125 words which come in the Quran 40,000 times. 40,000 times. Subhanallah. That means 50% of the words or every second word of the Quran on the average is coming from daily salah. How easy should it be? How easy should it be? Subhanallah, every second word, if you just know the salah. And that is what is our short course one, our course number one. And this is what we are starting now. Okay? It's a course of 19 lessons, and I will give more details. But let me continue on the aspect of how Quran is easy. If you learn some more recitations, like instead of six surahs, 12 surahs, and some more supplications, then you learn 250 words, along with grammar, which we teach in, as part of the course. That, then you learn 250 words that occur in the Quran 55,000 times. SubhanAllah, 70% of the Quran. This is the content of our short course two, or course number two. So course number one is around nine hours, course number two around nine to ten hours. So the two courses will teach you 250 words in addition to your daily salah. 250 words which come in the Quran 55,000 times, 70% of Quranic words. SubhanAllah, Quran is extremely easy. And after that, after that, the number of new words that remain the, the x-axis here shows the number of, you know, the para numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 30, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 30, all the way. It's the opposite. And uh, then the y-axis shows number of words in every para, new words in every juz, every juz. So the first juz has only 400 new words. That means 20 new words per page. So here is it, the table. New words per page for the first juz is 20. And total words are 130. So repeated words are 110. Every page gives you extensive opportunity to revise. And you know, surprisingly, by the time you come down, come down to fifth para, or from first to fifth para, first to fifth juz, the average number of new words is only 12. And from six onwards to 28, the new words are only six per page. SubhanAllah, how easy should it be? So. Make it a part of your daily life. It's not a matter of time or effort. In fact, it's not too much time. It's a matter of attitude. Okay? It's just 200 hours after you spend the time and 20 hours for short course one and two. You just spend six hours per, per, per para, per juice, and 30 times six is 180 hours. Total 200 hours, you can complete the whole Quran. So let us pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah makes the Quran easy for us and helps us do and uh, helps us read Quran, understand Quran, reflect, contemplate, ponder on it, uh, ponder it, and implement it, and spread it. The objectives of the short course are, the short course that we are talking, the first short course, or first course of 10 hours, or 9 hours, is to make the understanding of the Quran easy. Okay? Make the understanding of Quran easy. And to pray Salah effectively. And to encourage you to recite Quran again and again with understanding. And help in, inter help in interacting with the Quran. That is how to bring Quran into our lives. And to generate team spirit to work for the good of everyone, for all humanity. Okay? Not only Muslims, everyone. What will we study? 
In 19 lessons, each lesson will be approximately half an hour. 19 lessons we'll study Surah Al-Fatiha and last six surahs and parts of Salah and supplications plus grammar rules in every session. How will we study 26 minutes session? 13 minutes for the lesson, 13 minutes for grammar and in that we'll also give you educational and motivational tips. The strategy will be through these common recitations, we learn 125 words which occur in the Quran 40,000 times. Okay? Now, let me tell you one thing about our approach. Understanding Quran versus learning Arabic language. There are three major differences in our approach. First thing is we start from Salah. Why use any other text? Why should we start with Hadha Baytun Kabirun Tilka Hadiqatun Jamilatun? A common person will never use those sentences. Whereas in the first session or the next session we'll teach you, next lesson we'll teach you, uh, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and talk to Allah 25 times every day. Practice what you're learning. Immediate implementation. So if I want to teach you French and if I know that you're speaking something in French every day for one hour, so I would say learn that part first. And it is a method which is common sense based and valid for every Muslim man, woman, old and young and even for a child. This is for common people. For learning Arabic, other texts may be good. The second part is language learning involves reception and production. Reception means listening and reading. Production is speaking and writing. We focus on listening and reading more than on speaking. We are not teaching you how to speak Arabic language. You will learn that, but later on. And third focus is we give more attention to vocabulary, just like just like the way a child learns. It's our, ch our child starts with water. After some days, he will say, bring water. You don't tell him, you see, bring his verb and water is noun, so you should use verb first, noun later. Maybe he will stop talking for another five years if you teach like this, okay? Alhamdulillah, we know grammar. For example, for yu'minun, we have, you know, we can say this is ghaib, jama' muzakkar, mahmuz from babi fa'al, this is part of sarf. And it is fi'al mudari' marfu' bi thubutin noon liyannahu min al-fa'al khamsa wal wow the wow before noon is dhameer muttasil fi mahal rafu fa'al. But if we do like this, people will be, you know, scared. Last thing, rules of our short course is we'll learn with love, smiles. This is thoroughly interactive course. And listen interactively with your heart and have faith in Allah that Allah will teach you. Ar-Rahman wa'allam al-Qur'an. Okay, and last thing is, remember the golden rule, I listen, I forget, I see, I remember. And that's why we have this whole screen displayed for you. And I practice, I learn. So not only practice with us in the classes, but also do the homeworks, okay? It's only 10 minutes, 5 minutes per day. And I teach, I master. We'll talk about it more, we'll talk about it later. So let's take a break. Brothers and sisters, and after the break, we'll do grammar and learning tips, inshallah. Till then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. After the break, I welcome you. And in this part, inshallah, we'll learn some basic Arabic grammar. Please note that we will be using total physical interaction. And it's a system which is very efficient for learning different forms of Arabic words that are constructed from one uh, word, I would say, or from three letters, the root of the Arabic word. There are 125 words in this course of nine hours or 19 lessons. I can give you that list and I can tell you, well, go ahead and memorize this list and inshallah you will cover those words which occur 40,000 times in the Quran. But I want you to learn in, e in an easy way. That's why, please follow the way I tell you. TPI, total physical interaction, is nothing but using all your physical senses. You are seeing, you are watching, you are listening, you are thinking. I would request you to show also and also speak up. Repeat after me. So, see it, think it, listen to it, and say it and show it. Do everything. Please note that it's not a joke, you know, don't take it easy, it's a full system and if you follow it from now, there will be thousands of verbs that you will learn and thousands of words of Quran that you will learn using TPI. And don't let shaitan tell you that, well, I can do it later. No, do it now, mashallah, you're giving time, so why spare it for something, some, some other time? 
through TPI, total physical interaction, in this course itself, you will learn those words which you see on the, on the screen, you know, almost 20, 30 words, which come in the Quran 18,500 times. That's a lot of number within this course. And in fact, as you do after this course, inshallah, if you continue after this course, and inshallah you will, uh, then you can learn 200 verbs of the Quran and 20 pronouns and prepositions that occur 30,000 times in the Quran. Almost 40% of Quranic words can be learned comfortably using the system of TPI. What is that TPI? It's nothing but you say it and you show it, like huwa, hum, anta, antum, ana, nahnu. This is not only useful for learning the forms, but also very useful when it comes to explanation of Quranic verses, when you start the Quran. For example, one sign, one sign for turja'un can convey you five different things. That it is mudakkar, when I use my right hand, it is for masculine gender, and when I use it for the front, you know, it is for hadir, for the one I am addressing you, for you. And when I use four fingers, it is for plural. And when I use it at high level, it is for present or mudari or imperfect tense. And when I do like this, it is for passive voice. So five things are shown in just one sign. So let us start that system and learn six words that occur in the Quran 1,295 times. Just five minutes of exercise, and you will learn these six words, inshallah, very easily and thoroughly. So here they are. Huwa, hum, anta, antum, ana, nahnu. When you say huwa, use your right hand and with one finger show it to your right side. Okay? You don't have to stretch the hand and I don't think any one of your hands is so heavy, you know, 20, 30 kilos that he cannot even move. So please don't, you know, don't be stingy to move your hand. I will give you two examples of moving our hands. When you speak on mobile, you know, using mobile, and you give directions to your brother or your friend, you will start shaking your hands, you know, say, take right, you know, go straight and take right and take. Why are you moving your hands when your, your friend is not watching you? It is because the way the brain is designed, our brain works like that. So you have to move your hands automatically. Similarly, what we are telling you is use those movements to teach our brain in the reverse way. And that is really very effective and it's a modern system of language learning. Total physical response or total physical interaction is a standard efficient modern method of learning different words of a new language. Okay, so repeat after me. Hua he. Hua he. Okay, right side one finger on the right and think that there is a person standing there, your friend standing there. Who are he? Who are he? Whom they? Whom they? Anta you? Anta you? Antum you all? Antum you all? Ana I? Ana I? Nahnu we? Nahnu we? Who are he? Who are he? Whom they? Whom they? Anta you? Anta you? Antum you all? Antum you all? Anna, I, I, Nahnu, we, Nahnu, we, Hua, he, Hua, he, Hum, they. Hum, they. When you say home, you show four fingers to your right side, okay? Anta, you, Anta, you, you will point towards me and I will point towards you. Anta, you, Anta, you, Antum, you all, Antum, you all, you will point four fingers towards me, assuming there are four, and in fact, we are four, me, my, and my jinn, the shaitan, everyone has a jinn, and two angels, so we are four at least. So show four fingers towards me and say, Antum, you all. And Ana, I, ana, ana I, Nahnu, we. Nahnu, we. Two more times. Who are he? Who are he? Whom they? Whom they? Anta, you? Anta, you? Antum, you all. Ana, I, ana, I, Nahnu, we. Who are he? Who are he? Whom they? Anta you, Anta you, Antum you all, Anna I, I, Nahnu we. Now you translate and I will show, I mean I will speak in Arabic. Hua, and use your hand, okay, don't, 
you know, don't do it without showing. It is very effective. Use your hand. Huwa? Me. Hum? They. Anta? You. Antum? You are. Ana? I. Nahnu? We. Huwa? He. Hum? They. Anta? You. Antum? You are. Ana? I. Nahnu? We. Two more times. Huwa? Me. Hum? They. Anta? You. Antum? You are. Ana? I. Nahnu? We. Last time. Huwa? He. Hum? They. Anta? You. Antum? You are. Ana? I. Nahnu? We. We. MashaAllah, now we have learned what they mean. By the way, you see the coloring system there? What we did is, for those who are color sensitive, who like the color, third person, huwa and hum, is colored in red. And anta and antum is colored in yellow. And ana and nahnu in green. This is like a traffic signal, you know, traffic signal. So, red, yellow, or orange, and green. Huwa, hum, anta, antum, ana, nahnu. All our tables will be like this for pronouns, for verbs, and so on. So, now let us speak in Arabic only. Think as if you are talking to Arabs. So when you are talking to Arab brothers and you don't know the language, you try to you know, use your whole ex you know, existence to show what you mean. So just show it as you are speaking. So repeat after me. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Anta antum. Anta antum. Ana nahnu. Ana nahnu. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Anta antum. Anta antum. Ana nahnu. Ana nahnu. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Anta antum. Anta antum. Ana nahnu. Ana nahnu. You know, ana is written as ana, but you never pronounce that alif. You just say ana, as if there is no alif there. Alif and noon with fatha. Ana. Why? Because a person always wants to say, wants to talk about himself. Ana, I, 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 so we just kill it there. Ana. Only Allah is the greatest. Okay, repeat after me. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Anta antum. Anta antum. Ana nahnu. Ana nahnu. Now can you say with me? I will read slowly, I will speak slowly. Try to speak with me. Huwa hum. Anta antum. Ana nahnu. 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 MashaAllah. Two more times. Huwa hum. Anta antum. Ana nahnu. Huwa hum. Anta antum. Ana nahnu. MashaAllah. You already have learned these six words which come in the Quran 1295 times. And that's how we learn different verbs and words of Arabic language. Somebody may say, well, you know, you skipped huma and antuma and anti and hunna. What about that? Well, we will inshallah learn them later. These six forms occur in the Quran many times, so we have learned these six first. We'll learn them later in the second course and uh, after that. Also, when Quran says, ya ayyuhal amanu, it means both male and females, males and females. So, and also dual forms, huma and antuma, come very rarely in the Quran, and when they come, inshallah, we can learn them very easily, and we will learn them, we'll teach them also. That's about grammar, and uh, now I'll come to some learning tips. First thing that you have to get convinced is that you can learn. MashaAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you such a powerful brain that it is very easy to learn many things. We are blessed with hundred billion cells, each one of us is blessed with hundred billion cells in his brain. And for each of these cells, we have up to 20,000, this is like a tree, okay? Each cell is like a tree, up, having up to 20,000 branches or dendrites. So the brain can make millions and trillions of connections every, and, and what it does, not only make, it makes connections between each cell, but also these connection make and break or connect and disconnected at the rate of 500 times per second. You know, zzz, it's a very high super processor. We have too much capacity. Don't ever say that my mind is full. I cannot learn. In fact, according to uh, uh, research, we hardly use 5% of our brain. If not the whole, the capacity of the brain. We have too much capacity. Most of it is empty, okay? 
So let us use that. And even if you get old, you know, up to 60 years of age, only up to 3% of brain cells die. Rest of them are alive. So 3%, you know, I'm telling this because shaitan comes to old people and say, well, this is not my age to learn the Quran. I'll say, no. You have, mashallah, you can learn. You have the brain intact, 97% intact, and 5% is used, so 92% is just empty. So if you forget things, it is mainly because of lack of using the rules of memory. So try to do that, and also, most importantly, for brain and muscles, exercise is must, especially for aged people. Use it or lose it. So why not use it for learning Quran? If you don't use the brain, it will, you know, it will shrink, it will die, its cells will get out of use. So please use it for learning Quran. So alhamdulillah, in this lesson we have learned six words. We'll continue to the next lesson. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika, nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.